Hi, and welcome to this screencast about the Smart Resize feature, which is coming to Tornado FX. So what we have here is a basic table view with four columns. And uh, right now it's using the unconstrained resize policy of JavaFX. And what that does is basically just lay out the columns and give them um, some space. Uh, apparently it's, uh, it will give you the space that the, the columns seem to need. And then uh, while you resize the column, it will just push everything either to the right or to the left of the column you resize, depending on which way you go. So uh, yeah, and it actually has one more feature. If you double click the column header, the column will resize to, to its preferred size again. So let's compare this real quick to the constrained resize policy of JavaFX. When we apply this, all the columns get the same width. And uh, you, you can no longer double click to, to have it uh, resize to the preferred width. Um, and the resizing does about the same, but th this one will not push the columns out of the, the way of, uh, of what you can see. So um, with the unconstrained uh, view, you can actually make the, the width of the columns bigger than the table view. So now let's change this to the smart resize policy. When we apply this policy, we get a, um, a view that looks almost like the unconstrained view, except for that the last column gets all the available space. Um, the resizing feature is a bit different because this last column will just keep the space, but you can resize it if you want. So let's make this a bit more interesting. Let's say we don't want the last column to get all the extra space. We would actually like the, the the type column to get the remaining space what's not needed by the other columns. So we'll say remaining width should go to this column. What we actually want the bed column to do is to get the content width. And that means make sure the column uh, is wide enough to fit the content. So now you can see that the, the type column got all the remaining space not needed by the other columns. So we got what we wanted with the, the bed column, but it looks a bit cramped. So we would like to add some padding to this content width. So let's try to add 50 uh, pixels of, uh, of padding to it. That looks much better. Now, as I resize the type column, it does, you know, what you expect until it can't get any smaller. Then it will start to push the bed column. To prevent that, we can actually say that, yes, we want the, the bed column to, to be the content width plus 50 pixels padding. But we also want to make sure that it's uh, that, it, that it can't get either bigger or smaller than that. So actually, we want one kind of a fixed width uh, that is automatically calculated plus padding. So now, when I try to resize the type column, it will just stop there. Okay, so that's great. Let's try something else. Uh, let's add, for example, some percentage width to the number column. So we'll say that this should be 50% of the total width of the table view. And I've defined the preferred width of the table view to be 800. So the number column should be about 400 columns now, uh, 400 pixels now. That seems about right. I can still resize. That's all good. And uh, let's try to make this also a percentage width of uh, 25. So that means it should be about half the size of the number column. That's also good. I can still resize this any way I want. Now let's play a little with this first column. You see it, it gives us the, the space uh, we want it to, to have, but it can still be resized and we don't want that. So what we actually want it to have is the default width that it comes with, but we want to use that default width as both the minimum and maximum. So it's kind of like the, the last column, but it's not based on the, uh, the content, it's what the table view would give it. So now this is good. Let's play with weights. So I will say that the number column has a weighted width of one, and the type column has a weighted width of two. Now this will make the the type column double the size uh, as of the number column. So that seems to work. We can keep 
increasing the size of the type column in comparison to the number column. That works. If I go crazy here, like 30 times bigger, <clears throat> now the, the number column just gets too small. So I, I would still like this uh, weight ratio to be considered, but I don't want the number column to be smaller than some minimum. So we'll add a min width of, uh, let's say 75 pixels to it. Cool. So now it can be increased, but it can't be decreased below that. If I resize this now, the only column that will change is the type column. So we have some more uh, resize features in here, but I think this is a, a good starting point to discuss how this should work. Uh, this feature is not complete yet, and uh, we're still discussing it in the Slack channel. So please join us there if you, if you have input.